In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Lindy WhatsApp integration. To begin, you'll need to go to developers.facebook.com. In the top right, click on my apps. Here, you will have to create a new app. So click the green button in the top right. Give your app a name and then click next. Then scroll down and click on other, then click next, then click on business click next make sure the details in here is as you wish and then create app then you'll have to enter your facebook password then right away you should see whatsapp click setup then choose a business portfolio and click continue then click start using the api then you can either proceed to the test number however the test number can only send messages it cannot receive messages according to facebook but if you click on the number here you can add another phone number Click on that. You'll have to enter the name for the phone number, choose the time zone. In the category, you can choose other again, and then click next. In the next step, it will ask you to add the phone number and then just verify it via SMS. Once that is done, make sure you choose the number that you'd like to use, and then copy this phone number ID. You will need that later. Now in the top left, click app dashboard and then click on business settings. In here, go to system users. I already have a test user. However, if you wanna add a new one, you can click add in the top right, give it a name and then choose admin and then click create system user. Once you've created the user, click this button here and then click assign assets. Then go to apps, choose the app that you just created and then choose manage app. Then click assign assets, then click done. Then go to WhatsApp accounts, then click the number that you set up and then click on assign people. Add the user that you created and give them full control by clicking the button down below. Then click assign, then click done. Then head back to system users and then click here to generate token. Then click the app that we created before, click next. For the expiration, set it on never, click next. For permissions, scroll down below and then choose management as well as messaging and then click generate token then we'll have to verify our account click verify click send email add the confirmation code and then copy the token that is given to you we'll need that later as well click done now go to apps go to the app that you created click on the top right and then click open in dashboard now go to whatsapp and then click on configuration now we need to go to lindy in lindy i just added a um, whatsapp trigger in here just click on add account, enter the access token, so the large token that were given before, and then the phone number ID, and then click connect. Then copy the webhook given here, copy paste it here, copy the verification token, and copy paste it here, and click on verify and save. Once it's verified and saved, you will see all these options here. Scroll down to messages and make sure that it's enabled. And once you're done setting all this up, you can make it go live by clicking the button up here. It'll ask you to go to basic settings and set the privacy URL there. Click on that and make sure that it's valid. You can enter your privacy URL here, click save. Once you added the privacy policy URL, you can make it go live. And that's it. Your WhatsApp integration is now complete and you can start using the WhatsApp trigger as well as the WhatsApp actions.